introduce to you a little bit about Reem. My name is Mohammed van der Hayden. I'm joining you here from Saudi Arabia. It's a pleasure to you know, be again in India, a place that's at a core and very important function for what we see the world to come, especially in developing the kind of systems and ecosystems that are relevant for our future-oriented societies. I'm the chairman of Reem Foundation, which to introduce it to you would probably be relevant to introduce myself first. I come from a background in ancestry, heavy in sailors and shipbuilding. Through this time, this adventure that we've gone through to different cultures, to different people, different countries, different continents, and different individuals, I came to understand that there is connections between people that are a bit more nuanced than the world we have today would lead us to believe. At the core of this lies what is our mission at REAM, which is developing integrated future-oriented systems that enable societies to act on a much more integrated basis. This is very central to what I see as future governance, which is governance that is ready for the future, integrated with technology, and enabling individuals to have the highest degrees of freedom, prosperity, and opportunity. At the core of our REAM philosophy lies what I like to call the REAM sphere. Think of it as a, not a two-dimensional object, but a sphere, something that can be seen from all sides and has real substance. And I think at the core of that is where we see human connection coming together here in the next years and decades that people will develop and will enable us to progress. The sphere has four nodes, and these four nodes are what we guide our central philosophy upon. The node number one is what we like to call AI diplomacy. AI diplomacy is the role that each of us must play in any of our positions, as engineers, as students, as leaders, as orators, as politicians, as value builders for the economies and societies that we all live in. Node number two is impact acceleration. Through impact acceleration, we guide the youth, the builders, the creators to accelerate the potential that they can come upon by building whatever it is that their heart desires. Number three is something we like to call the creativity in the innovative digital transition. We all live still in a time of complete transition from what was an analog system, now to a digital system, and in the future, a fully AI-driven system. This concept of general AI and how it affects the systems and societies we live upon needs to be integral to how we design and function in societies that are coming about. And at the core of this, and it is why that I came here today to India to introduce this to you, is something that I believe is a very special place to be built here in India a place that has reached great heights and has seen great changes in methodologies, in culture, in technology, and in innovation that is continuing and continuing to accelerate as time goes on. I come from a place that I believe has a lot more potential for us to collaborate and build what is the next to come between these two societies. Being engineers for a future-oriented society is the greatest calling we can have today. And engineers does not mean simply technology. Engineers of society, engineers of economics, engineers of systems that transcend what our traditional boundaries have become. In the Middle East, we have seen over the past couple of decades that leaders who change what it means to lead, who change the very definition of what we believe is possible, can change whole societies, can accelerate something that someone said was a desert into an oasis of technology, freedom, and prosperity. Speaking to you here today in India, a country that I believe is one of the most diverse on this planet, I see that potential. When you have greats like Rat the late Ratan Tata and many others to inspire you to create things that simply were not even possible and to grow them into things that are fully international and integrated, you have this opportunity. 
how do you seize this opportunity as an individual, as a student, as an engineer? You do it by guiding yourself into a group, into a place that supports your ambitions. I come here today not to tell you and market about the Middle East. I come here to market about you and to tell you that you as an individual are the only one who can decide where your contributions are the most valuable. The traditional societal boundaries that you live here, you might have an Indian passport, you might have a US passport, you might be a Saudi, but you live here or you live there. These are disappearing. In the age of AI, the traditional identities that we all felt we must enable and, and hold dear to us, they're changing. In this change, you can create for yourself opportunity. Our key element at RAIN is the integration of cultural innovation. And when I say that, I mean specifically the integration from what we see as historical positive culture, like so much you have here in India, thousands and thousands of years of positivity, of creation, of amazing, amazing progress together with this digital transition, enabling you to create things that are not foreseen. We live in a world that has created very superficial dogma, very finite lines. You're either here or you're here, you're here or you're there. This is not the future. The future is everywhere. It's seamless integration. It's Indians building technology with Saudi for a better world not Indians building for India, or Saudi building for Saudi, or America building for America. That future is driven not by the leaders and politicians that we all have in all of this world, but by the creators. Those creators are you. Isaac Newton once said that you know, we stand on the shoulders of giants, but the future, as I see it, is standing behind our youth, empowering you with the tools, the creativity, the resources, and a platform to build that which has not been built before. And I believe India has one of the most central places to play in this role in the entire world. I can think of no place better to build future-oriented systems than here in India, which has seen massive transformation and continues to do so on a daily basis. You have that opportunity, and you have the opportunity to share that with markets and people that maybe you hadn't thought about before. And that is my central message to you here today and to the broader Indian community, to India as a whole, is we need to reevaluate what is our basis, what is our foundation, what is the role that we're going to play in society, in an AI-driven society. How can we advocate for future-oriented societies that transcend boundaries, that create possibility and opportunity for all, and enable true impact acceleration. To enable one person who could do one thing to do 10 things. How can we make that happen? At the core of our philosophy is something we like to call power group. And the first power group, it's you. It's the youth who are entering into the age of AI. And you have an opportunity to use that as a foundation. I didn't have that opportunity. My peers, my colleagues, the leaders who guide us all today did not have that opportunity. We built upon old foundations, but we made something better. You are building upon the best and the brightest, and you can use that to make something unbelievable. It is my pleasure to have joined you here today, and I wish you all the best. The Middle East is your foundation, and in brotherhood, may we create that which has never been created before. Thank you very much.